Hello everybody, live from the AVN show floor 2023. I am here with the Nolan twins at the Joy slash Brazzers booth and I am so excited to be here. They are actually a part of this incredible new platform that we're here to promote. It's the first erotic metaverse and um, we're debuting here and it's just, it's a lot and it's been a long time coming and we're so thrilled to be here. So ladies, thank you so much for coming. Thank of you course. for having us. We, we are thrilled. the Joy City Girls Alien Metaverse Twins <laughs> and we will be in Joy City. So stay tuned. <laughs> so I can't tell you guys apart. So you're going to have to introduce yourselves, okay. your names. Okay. I'm Liz. And I'm Julia. I'm two minutes older. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a little bit thicker. That's how you can tell us apart. Ooh. <laughs> So I have to ask you guys a question because, you know, we've, we've kind of like done little interviews before. Mm -hmm. How do you know, you guys seem to have this innate timing on how, when each one talks. Like, how, <laughs> oh, yeah. do you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you guys know who talks first and then who talks next and then who... So, doing? yeah, people always ask us, they're like, do you have twin telepathy? And we, to that we say, absolutely we do. We can feel each other's, like, emotions. I can tell when she's in a bad mood, mm -hmm. when she's being a bitch, when she wants to get out of a conversation. Like, <laughs> we're very in tune. Um, we meet a lot of twins that, like, don't get along or hate each other, but we are best friends. Yeah, and we're a package deal. We're a package deal. <laughs> and we have, like, the same voice, which is the trippiest thing. Um, we both have, like, deep, low man voices. So, <laughs> hey, how you doing? You know what? It's kind of sexy. I wouldn't describe it as manly. It's sexy. <laughs> okay, baby. So, yeah. Um, she's just, are in tune, yeah. Yeah, we're in, very in tune. So, okay. So, what are the things... You guys must have some things, some differences between you guys, like in personality and likes. Like, what are the ones that stand out the most? It's, it's hard because we're, like, very similar and we, like, have the same taste in men and everything, but... That must be hard sometimes. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. clearly, like, they're not going to pick the hotter one. Right, right. right. Yeah, and head. then sometimes the men will be like, oh, I think you're hotter. And I'll be like, really? Like, we're both hot. Like, you know. In our own ways. In our own ways. But people call her thickums. So, yeah. like, she has a bigger ass than me. Um, but other than that, like, we're both, like, very outgoing. And I'm a little more shy at first. Mm. So she's, like, the more, I think, bubbly. Yeah, I have better, like, pickup lines than her. So You do, wow. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, have you guys ever, you know, done the whole, like, twin thing where you trick somebody and switch places, places and said you were the other one? Oh, yeah. yeah. She went on, so I was, like, double booked for a date one time. And I'm like, please go on this date for me. Like, I actually like this guy, but I already have another date planned. So she went on it for me, and it worked out. And he never found out. And he might have tried to steal a little kiss at the end. So yeah. that didn't, like, work out well. No kisses for him. But, yeah, we, you know, we're, like, we're twins, identical twins. Like, let's live Live it up. Let's do things that like not everyone else could do, say that they yeah. do. And we also uh, tricked America on Big Brother, the show on CBS. We had to pretend to be one person, yeah. and so we switch in and out of the house, playing as one player. And we made it to the end, and Liz won fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. So. And then of course, like the twins that we are, we split the money. So yeah. oh, you're welcome. You. <laughs> so wait, I want to like rewind a little bit and go back to this date that you had with this guy. So yeah. you went on the date for her. Yes. It went well. So then who went on the next date? Well, so she liked the, like another guy. So I kind of like pursued him. But it was weird because I had to pretend to be Liz. So we would not do that again. Yeah, it, it, it got a little like tricky. So I mean, it didn't last, obviously. He wasn't the one. We're still single. But, um, yeah, it, it was really fun because it was so, like, thrilling, you know? And, like, I was checking in on her, like, how's it going? Oh, my God. <laughs> Have you slipped up yet? So, yeah, we also, like, switched places in college. I had to take a test for her one time. And I actually failed it. I did really bad. I know. Thanks a lot. But <laughs> um, it was better than, better than getting zero. zero. Yeah. So you're welcome, too. And we've also, like, br I've broken up for a boyfriend for her. Okay. Why do I do your dirty work? I know. Thank you. And all she does is take tests for you and fails I them. I know. Thanks a lot. This doesn't feel like an even exchange. I know. Okay. I think I have, like, the short end of the stick, but I still love you. <laughs> uh, I got you. I got you next time, girl. Let me know. You get a, you get a hall pass. <laughs> so what about, so I think, going back to what I asked before, what, like, distinct differences do you guys have? Like, does one of you, like, hate one kind of food and the other person loves that kind of food? Like, 
different styles of music or are you guys literally you both like the exact same thing we are like the same we're, person we both like yeah. the same food we eat everything wow. we're foodies mm. actually i feel like you have better style than me and then you also do your makeup better like she's oh. wearing fake lashes and i suck yeah. at putting on fake lashes so <laughs> but we have like the same taste in music yeah. we actually this is so creepy we both drive the same car in different and different colors, colors. Yeah. So it's We're like, like as identical as it comes. My mom always says like when you guys get married and like get you know get your own lives and we're like still waiting for that day because we both we just bought a house together. Mm -hmm. um, we're roommates like perpetually. We've never lived with a guy. Yeah. Or other people. We've lived with each other. So it's really creepy. I'm starting to get sick of you just hearing uh, that. Same, sis. <laughs> so I have um did you guys ever go to those twin conventions? Because I've also heard that twins yeah do better with other twins because I've heard that dating can sometimes be hard for twins because you is. guys have such a, a bonded bond. relationship that like other people find intrusive or right. they get jealous of so yeah. have you guys ever dated other twins no, and I we, feel like other twins understand like what we, we go, go through, through. Yeah. yeah but okay. there's no there's this huge twin like where is it it's not a convention but I guess it is like in Iowa somewhere. No, in like Ohio. A, Ohio. Twinsburg, and, Ohio. Twinsburg, yes. And, and we've always wanted to go. Yes. And so it's all these twins. And I'm like, girl, we need to go there next year and find our husbands. I think it's in August. Okay, let's, let's do but it. But I agree with that. Like, I feel like men get intimidated by, like, how sh close we are. Like, yeah. no guy's ever going to be as close as we are, you right. know? So we need to go to a twin convention. Yeah, let's, like, manifest that in the new year. And then our babies can look exactly alike. Oh, my God. And, and then we can we get can a house on the same cul-de-sac. Cul oh, my God. We're making plans here Holly we love this <laughs> I can see that <laughs> well thank you girls so much for being here and being our booth babes here at the Joy City booth at AVN of course go to Joy City to sign up for updates because um, you will be able to get so much more of the Nolan twins there on Joy City so make sure that you guys sign up and um, keep your eyes peeled for everything that's yet to come <laughs>